Let's assemble a powerful wind turbine, made of cheap and easy to get materials. It will provide electricity for a house. I have bought a cheap electric rotor from a bike, it is the basis. As I found out, it has the best generation rate of the serial electric motor generators available. There are 64 powerful neodymium magnets in this wheel motor. Having the minimum torque rate of 1 spin a second, this wheel generates 100 watts of energy already. It is 90 watts right now. It was 100 right now. So, we were using just hand labor. Imagine what would it be like with meter length blades. And with the medium wind speed about 8 meters second in this area is going to be 1.5 kilowatts. <laughs> we're going to make the blades out of a sewer pipe, the red one. Because it's denser. I use a proof program for making the calculations. Okay, I will give you the link. I simply put here the diameter of the tube, then I put the medium wind speed in my area and the power I want to get. The table will show me the right size I need for the blades. We need to put the blueprint on the carton. Now we are going to draw the size of the carton. There are the calculations for it. Let's cut the blade. I am drawing the center for the blade drawing. Then we fix the blueprint on the tube correspondingly to the line. And we are drawing it. The blades are drawn. Let's go and cut them. Why you got your nose orange? <laughs> I feel good. The blades for the windmill are ready. Now we're going to assemble the motor. This is a part from my old car and it's going to be the base for the whole motor construction. Let's fasten the motor right here. And on the other side we will install the tube to which we will be connected the propeller. Right now it is well fastened already. Let's use a bearing. Okay, there is a bolt with a nut. Let's see what was going to be next. There is the construction and I need to weld another piece of metal here. I am connecting it to the thing from the lawn mower. Let's weld them. I have done the skin drawing. There are the perfect holes. Let's drill the blades. Ok, let's assemble all this and see how the wind generator is going to look like. Uh huh, it's ready. Well, something like this. We need to make a tail for it and we need this metal stick. Can you guess what is that? It's an old washer lead. We've decided to reinforce the blade with these metal clips. We need to connect a wire to this three-phase diode. That is it. We can go and check it. Let's install our generator right there. Whoa, the wind is hard here. It is rather an advantage right now. Let's fasten the blades. That's the fastening process and we need to make it vertical. The very moment comes, it's the rising. This sound is rather scary. If I hear it at night, I would be frightened. The wind was too tough, happens to the best of us. The wind has blown us. Did you get hurt? Actually, I thought it was going to hit me, but my agility is still good. Anyway, I couldn't catch it. Epic fail. These things happen. I think it's going to be the end of the first part. It has so much logic to call the first part ending. Anyway, we aren't going to give up, guys. We will buy a new tube and we'll make some new blades. Oh, and the wind is blowing hard. And we will make the Crea generator even more powerful.
You do mention some miscalculations. Right below, don't be shy. Let's help the green energy to develop together. Thank you, my patrons. 